Hello everyone and welcome to another weekly technical outlook video here at exam.com. So the focus these weeks are the US GDP data, the BOG decision and the, and the flash uh, PMI ratings from Eurozone. So starting from the dollar index and the US, uh, the first quarter GDP preliminary announcements on Thursday are expected to be uh, the week's biggest event. Uh, the US economy grew 3.4% annually in the prior quarter with the forecast being at 2.5%. And looking at the chart now, we can see that dollar index is easing after, uh, after it touched the 5-month high of 106.30 and it moves lower towards the 105.55 support level. So this sideways movement, uh, if it breaks to the upside, then it may reach the 11-month peak of 107 endorsing this medium-term ascending tendency. On the flip side now, if there is a continuation of this bearish retracement, then the market it may touch the 20-day SMA, which overlaps with this support level here of 104.87 ahead of the 104.20 line. Now looking also at the technical oscillators, the MACD is holding above its trigger line. However, the stochastic dived from, from the overbought region, suggesting that we may see some more losses in the next few sessions. Moving now to, to the Japan, uh, the BOG is expected to leave its rate settings unchanged on Friday as markets look for clues on their prospects of FX intervention to limit yen weakness. And looking at the at dollar yen, we can see that the market, the market is struggling to surpass above the 34-year peak of 154.77 over the last five sessions. So if there is a closing day above this level here, then it may reach the next psychological numbers such as 155 and 156, even higher. Now, if there is also a penetration of these handles, then the market it may reach the 161.8% Fibonacci extension level of this down leg here from 151.95 to 140.20 at 159.15. In the negative scenario, if the price moves lower, it may find first support at 152.60, which also lies with which also the 20-day SMA lies here and even lower the 151.95 and the 50-day SMA near the 150.87 support, which also uh, this diagonal line is holding here. Now looking at the technical oscillators, the RSI is flattening above the 70 level, indicating that we're having a, a weak momentum on price. Uh, however, the stochastic posted another bullish crossover above the 80 level, indicating that we may see some more gains before the market continues uh, to, to create a bearish correction. Now moving at the euro dollar and the eurozone, uh, the eurozone PA flash PMIs, uh, the, the services PMI is expected to rise to 51.9 and the manufacturing PMI to 46.5 in April and also the composite at 50.8 versus 50.3. Now looking at the euro and dollar, the price had a pullback near the 1.06 uh, psychological level, which is also a five month low and is moving sideways within this range here of 1.0695 1 to 1.06. If there is a successful climb above the 1.0720 resistance level, then the market it may retest the 20 day SMA near 1.0754 for a 45 and touching again this um, ascending trend line. Moving higher, the 50 and the 200 day SMAs around the 1.0810 may help bullish actions and take the market even lower. Now, if there is a dive beneath this round number here, then the price it may test the 1.0515 ahead of the 1.0450 and it will endorse the bearish tendency that started back at the end of December. Now the RSI is sloping, it's sloping marginally to the downside beneath the 50 level and the MACD oscillator is strengthening its negative momentum beneath its trigger and zero lines. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching. I
have a great day.